Hi guys, Fiji Chef here and today I'm here to do some perch fishing and we're gonna try to use the perch to do some fish ball later tonight. So stay tuned. And the bait I'm using is Berkeley Goat Sam Worm. Just gonna go through. This bait is quite effective on perch fishing. Look at this. Tiny little perch here. T too small, I might just let it go. Oh, ow. Got one this time? Yes, got one. Oh, so close this one. Oh yeah, this is a little bigger than last one. <laughs> Man, they're still small though. Another baby perch. good size too oh yeah silver ah pretty good decent size yes Woo. oh yeah biggest one so far Woo oh yes I think this one's at least a pound now finally this is a decent fish I'm looking I'm looking for Oh yeah, good sized fish right here. Oh, yeah, there's a fish. Very pretty good size. Oh no, well it's decent. Oh yeah, that's good. Here's the harvest of the day. So yeah, instead of doing fish ball for today, I'm just going to pan fry these, fry, pan fry these two fish. So the small fish I didn't scale. I'm gonna leave, leave the whole, whole thing intact. So the audio in the remaining footage uh, has somehow become corrupted. I will narrate the remaining video. Mm, so surf perch has a really mushy texture compared to the other fish I have had. And I don't really prefer the mushy textures. Cooking it from high heat to medium then to low will help enhance the texture. Also giving you a more succulent yet crunchy and crispy fish. As a recommendation, try to squeeze some lemon juice on it. Um, it really adds another layer of deliciousness to your fish. I'll give this a dish a uh, 92 out of 100. But yeah, we're not over yet because most of the fish I've caught today is small, which makes it harder to do the fish balls. So let's go on a second fishing trip to catch some bigger fish for the fish ball quest tomorrow.
the big guy perch right here. So here's the f perch we caught today. They're not the biggest, but it is what I have and I'll try to work with these to make the fish balls. After it's all filleted, I wash the fillet up and use a spoon and start scraping. Trying to get every little bit of it. Okay, I guess this is not bad. Got some rice cooking wine. Now we want to make sure it has a good consistency, a good texture. Ooh. Okay. Get some ice water. So basically it's gonna squeeze the fish ball shape out and then dump it into the ice water. That's the result, and now let's cook them and see how they taste. Once it starts floating, that means it's cooked. A little salt here, a little bit of pepper, sesame oil, green onion, some vinegar. Okay, I think the fish ball is ready. So if perch fish ball is ready, let's dig in. Oh wow, <laughs> super tender, but not mushy. Oh wow. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is good. It's almost like tofu. Good springiness and good softness and tenderness. I don't know, it's hard to describe this texture. It's like tofu, but with better springiness to it. And the pure fish uh, fillet that's made, made, this thing is made out of, it's just good. I think if I were to try to make rockfish into a fish ball, it would be good too. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed this meal. Yeah, even though it's a lot of work, but I really enjoyed the result. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as well. And I think this will conclude the video today. Thank you guys so much for watching and go try to make some fish ball. They're great. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.